Hi guys and welcome back to my channel at home with Shell. So I have a B&M haul for you today. I feel like I've done, oh I've been to B&M quite a few times recently. I'm in the middle of kind of doing the garden and I just find it so handy to pop there. It's only up the road from me and everything is just so much better price than it is in a lot of other places. So yeah, did the usual, popped in there, got the trolley, ended up getting <laughs> loads of bits. So thought that I would sit down and share with you guys what I got because I've got some pretty good deals on some stuff as well. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, please excuse the state of me. As I said, I was in the middle of kind of doing the garden. So just went to B&M, um, hence I've got a bikini top on underneath because finally we have some summer in the UK. Yeah, and I've just got my hair scraped back, no makeup on, but anyway, who cares? <laughs> so starting off with some of the garden bits. So I got another couple of these pots. I've shared these before, I think. These were, I've got the really big one. Um, I'll put in some pictures of the really big one. I think that was 26 99 And then I've got this one, which was 18 99 um, They're really light, they're just kind of like plastic. But actually, they when they're in the garden, they almost look like stone. So it's a really good way of getting quite a premium, luxurious look in your garden for a fraction of the price um so i've bought two of these ones in this size like i said i've already got two of the big ones and then i've just bought these ones i think these ones were actually, no, let me just get the the receipt as well so i can tell you how much they were how much were these ones times two these were 11.99 these this size one um and then what i'm planning on doing is having the really big one that i've got out there and then this one and this one and then i've got some plants to put in them and they're going to go on the patio and i just think that they'll look really nice together if i have finished that by the time i upload this video then i'll take a little video of it and overlay it as well so you can let me know what you think um but yeah really pleased with them um then i got some soil Obviously, I'm not going to pick that up and show you, but I've got the soil in there, which is pretty good value because it's the peat-free one, um, and it's free, um, it's the, yeah, it's the peat-free one, and it's three for 15 pounds, which is pretty good value as well. Um, kind of staying along the garden line, I suppose. Um, I got some weed killer, because out the front we've got our patio, and it is just, the weeds have just gone mad, haven't they, recently? Um, so, got some of this weed killer. I couldn't remember which one it was, and I've used one before, and I was just saying to my partner, I was like, I remember it was red, and that was the one that, I've tried loads of different ones, and then saw this, and I was like, that must be what it was, the red one. Um, because this one hopefully kills the roots as well. And then picked up this, oh, dearie me, picked up this little tool as well. Um, so it's basically like a weed brush scraper. So on the end here, so you can get into the patio and just kind of scrape the the weeds out. I better keep that on there so I don't hurt myself. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, I've got awful hay fever at the moment as well. Um, it's really annoying, isn't it? Because if you live in England, you love the sun. And then if you're a hay fever sufferer, it's just so frustrating because as soon as the sun comes along, hay fever comes along as well. Um, but yeah, I got this in there, which has got a super long handle on it, and this was £4. Um, like I mentioned, I'm also doing... Where am I going to put that? I'm also painting the... No, not the fence. I've already painted the fence, so I'll show you what that looks like. And next, I need to stain the deck in. And I was really debating whether to either paint it, oil it, or stain it. I did quite a bit of research and oh jesus this is heavy and decided that i'm actually going to oil it so I picked up this one seal in there so it's a waterproof decking protector we've had our decking down for a couple of years now um and they obviously did it when they first put it down but i haven't treated it again since and i cleaned it all the other day and it just yeah i want to make sure i can do it and now we've got a few days forecast of sunshine so hopefully i can get it done before we get any rain and then that's pretty much the garden done um so that was a lot cheaper in there i had actually initially ordered it from amazon and i think it was 40 was it 40 pounds on amazon and then which said it was in the sale then found it in b&m 
and it was only how much was that 30 pounds like 29.99 that was um then got a decking staying kit as well so i've done loads of research around whether you should use a brush or a pad um people all seem to say different things but i thought i'd get this anyway um and then this has got an extension pole on it because we've got quite a big decking area and to be honest i really didn't fancy doing the whole thing on my hands and knees with a tiny little brush so i thought that i would get this this was 12 pounds um and it's got an extension pole in here as well that you can attach to the actual pad so yeah i'll let you know how I get on and then just in case also Nick can help me as well um then I just got this brush which is the shed and fence brush but I'm not I'm sure if this will work with the extension one as well because it's got a little hole in the end I think this was around six pounds um really soft but yeah maybe I'll use this kind of around the edges and then use the pad when I'm doing the main bit and then the only other garden thing that I got are just some bamboo sticks um, I bought a couple of hydrangeas, like the Annabelle ones, you know, that have got the big flowers. I think they're beautiful, but they're quite heavy with the flowers. So they've started to fall forward. So I just thought, um, ideally, I should have got maybe like a frame or something to go in them. But I thought I would make my own. So that's just a washing machine going off. Um, so I thought that I would make my own with these. I think these were really reasonable in there. 3.99 or something for the sticks in there oh, don't fall <laughs> and then moving on to some other bits that i picked up just got a couple of little cleaning products in there oh i did also buy this little trough um thing as well so basically arabella wants to grow her own vegetables so arabella is my um five-year-old daughter and she we looked at getting her one of those veg truck things but they're about a hundred pounds and i was like oh, i don't know if she will actually use it um and they're quite good because they they go down like that so you can grow kind of carrots and potatoes and things like that in them but i don't want her to say she wants it and then not bother with it so i said we would get something like this and then maybe just put some I don't know like tomatoes or strawberries or something like that and then if she looks after them and because I said it's her responsibility she needs to look after them and grow them and look you know water them and everything um then yeah I might get her the other one but for now I got this um and this was 2 99 in there um moving on from um the garden stuff I've got this little game in there actually um Arabella's really into playing games and it's quite nice at the minute because we can sit down and have a nice family game night um, even like after school or at the weekends and I saw this Monopoly Rivals edition so it's a smaller one um, and it's a two player one and it was only 4 99 which I just thought was ideal um, and even you know maybe for like taking on holiday and stuff as well it doesn't really take up a lot of room so yeah 4 99 for that and they had a um a trivial pursuit rivals one as well which i thought was very good um then what else did i get a couple of cleaning bits i got so i needed some more bleach so i always get the harpic pine i uh, love that one and then i needed another crease release i have actually got one of these but annoyingly it just wouldn't spray properly and every time i was spraying it it was just dripping everywhere um, so i bought a new one of these because this is just fantastic on bedding or clothing um, especially this time of year you know when you're wearing like more linen clothes and I find that they crease a lot I will just hang them up spray them with this and the creases just drop out my bedding as well my bedding creases really badly it really frustrates me um, and I haven't got time or the inclination to sit and iron it to be honest so I just use this um, spray that and honestly the creases just drop out it is like magic in a bottle this stuff it's incredible um, yeah so I got some more of that um, then just got a couple of foodie bits in there oh, they sell. I've got some batteries um, needed some more batteries for our scales not that I want to see what I weigh at the minute but yeah our scales haven't got batteries i just feel like i'm struggling a little bit at the minute we've been quite busy at weekends there's been some birthdays then you go to barbecues i went on a hen do recently like bottomless brunches i feel like every weekend i'm quite indulgent like i'm really good in the week like i all i generally eat quite good lunches breakfast you know make all my dinners from scratch but then at the weekend 
I just kind of let it go and then I feel like wine is my downfall and then I stop tracking. Um, yeah, so I feel like I fell off the wagon a bit recently. Haven't weighed myself. My excuse has been the scales have got no batteries, <laughs> which I know is a really bad excuse, but yeah, I, I need to get back on it because I'm getting to the stage, you know, when you just, when you're getting dressed and you look in the mirror, you just feel a little bit uncomfortable. So yeah, I need to get some motivation back, start eating healthily again, not having so many bad weekends. Um, but it's hard, isn't it? Because you still want to live. But oh yeah, anyway, moving on from the batteries for the scales. Um, then just some foodie bits. I got these, um, are they called Napolina? Napolina chopped tomatoes. So normally these are about a pound each in like the supermarket, but these were six for one ninety nine, which I think is such good value. That basically makes them cheaper than the Tesco own brand ones. And these tomatoes taste so much nicer. But if you're just making your own kind of tomato based sauce, you know, like bolognese or something, these tomatoes are amazing. And I couldn't believe it. Six for one ninety nine. How good is that? Um, then I needed some more mayonnaise, so I got the extra light mayonnaise. This is the one that's 60% less fat. I do think they do an extra light light one. I'm not sure if that's just a salad cream, but um, yeah, this is 6% less fat than normal mayo. So um, pick that up. What else did I get? Some gherkins. Not very exciting, but we might have a barbecue this evening. So some gherkins on there and then um oh these are my favorite i love these these were two pound fifty in there and again these are normally about three fifty in the supermarket the chocolate weetabix are incredible if you're following slimming world as well they're also your you can use these for your healthy extra b in the morning and sometimes i'll just have these just with like a little bit of milk and some fruit in there or what i like to do is make like a little bit of a cheesecake so i'll get one and just mash it with a tiny little bit of milk add fat-free greek yogurt on it and then pile fruit on top and honestly it's one of my favorite breakfasts um and it's easy because i just make it the night before put it in the fridge get it out and i can eat it at work or whatever um yeah and it's just i don't know why but i think it's because it's got the chocolate in as well it just tastes delicious um, and then I think that is everything that I picked up. So yeah, I really hope that you've enjoyed this impromptu B&M haul. Um, if you have, please do give it a thumbs up and hopefully I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.